Tonight's guest plays a president struggling with the immigration problem on HBO's The Second Civil War. On Saturday Night Live and News Radio, he's treated us to more wacky characters than Ellis Island. A good friend of mine, Phil Hartman. Phil! Come around. What up, D? You're over here, baby. Thank you. Well, all right, Felipe, good to see you. Thank you, sir. How's Bryn? How's the little ones? Everything's peachy. I'm starting my summer hiatus and uh, very happy to be out of the primetime shit twister. <laughs> <clears throat> What's the word over there? Little Field gonna give it another season? I don't know. It's anybody's call, really. Um, at this point, I just want to surf, man. <laughs> All right, Moon Doggy. Now, uh, I understand this. Uh, I haven't seen it yet because it's on HBO. I don't get HBO, but I have. Uh, oh, <laughs> Second Civil War is about a parody of what happens if immigration goes on check. What are your views on it personally? Uh, on the film, Second no, no, Civil War? On, 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 on immigration? immigration? Well, I am an immigrant. I uh, came to this country in 1957 from uh, a terrible, hostile regime in Canada. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with my family and, uh, and then in, uh, after hanging around for some 33 some odd years I decided to become a U.S. citizen and now I'm one of you, Americans! <laughs> so uh, I, I certainly don't oppose immigration but what's fascinating about this subject and it's one of the things that's, that's touched upon in, in the movie The Second Civil War is that you cannot even discuss this subject without being considered a racist in this country. And the immigration policy in the United States is the most liberal in the world. Uh, 800,000 people a year enter the United States legally, eight, 900,000, and maybe another two or 300,000 illegally. And no other country tolerates that kind of illegal immigration or that kind of mass influx through their borders. If, <clears throat> if you discuss the idea of immigration reform in Congress, all hell comes down on you. And consequently, no one is trying to solve this problem, if it is a problem. In my opinion, I feel it is a problem. And, and, and actually, it is people like myself, legal immigrants, who are most upset about the insane policies that allow this illegal influx well, to Well, you know, take Congress, place. you look up at Capitol Hill, it's like that Escher print of the birds flying together. You know, it makes no sense, and occasionally it shits on your head. Now, what, uh, <laughs> what, 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 well, what would you do to straighten out immigration in this country? Or do you feel it needs straightened out? Should we let more in? Should we let less in? Uh, you understand that people think the pie's being cut too narrowly, and some people want to keep people out for a while. Do you think that's, that's not the American way, though, I guess, right? Well. We're still thinking back per the, ins the inscription on the Statue of Liberty. And, and what I don't, I don't have a solution to the problem, and, but, but I, I, I'm questioning why we don't even have a cogent dialogue about the problem. And it's largely because of political and economic forces within the country. I, I, that, and nobody speaks the same language anymore. <laughs> and that. But, but you know, like, like a Democrat, in Congress won't raise up the idea of immigration be reform because the, the downtrodden in our society traditionally vote Democratic. A Republican won't bring it up because Republicans overall are about business and, and immigration, illegal and otherwise, provides a cheap labor pool. Uh, also, anybody who has brought up the idea of immigration reform has been confronted by the lobbying groups of all nationalities who are trying to continue to encourage uh, the, the influx of individuals. But it's only going to heat up because we're not discussing it. Do you know that in the next five years, over a billion dollars a year in entitlements is going to be given through Social Security to foreigners who have immigrated to this country and not put so much as a dime into the system? Yeah, ouch. It's going to cause a fucking riot, Phil. Well, that's why I'm here today 
to talk about the new American Nazi Party. <laughs> Gypsies and homosexuals anymore. No, the, I, I don't have the answer, but 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 you know. I mean, why why are we talking about? It? Why aren't we talking about? It? Well, because this place is for a place that's built on open discourse. You know, there's no more closed mouth, closed minded place in America. If you say anything that looks like you might want to keep people out for a while till we get our feet on the ground. You're going to be killed as, you know, just being an anti-foreigner. And, you know, so everybody just shuts up. But the fact is, can't the least we do is just ask that you register at the border. I mean, is it, is it you know, is it, is, it, is it that much to ask? Are there, are there countries, I mean, can I walk into, like, Saddam Husseinville and just start setting up a discotheque or what? I mean. Not a chance. No other country. In Japan, they have a saying, Dijuro kunu. <laughs> Which means... You puked on me, Mr. President. <laughs> exactly. No, that means you don't set foot in my country, white devil, unless you buy a 50-inch television set. <laughs> no, we're, we're nutcases over here. We, we really are. And, and uh, you know, in, in Los Angeles, where, which has the worst traffic in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, the tension is running so high. Um, I like Hispanic drivers, they're nice and slow. They got the low riders, they're down, you know. It's, it's the Asians. <laughs> Never use a turn signal. Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> Who won that war anyway, people? <laughs> no, I... Hey, you, it has this. Hey, you you want to get pissed off? How's this for a law? A pregnant woman who sneaks into the United States and has a baby in this country, that child is automatically a U.S. citizen. How do you feel about that? Has all the entitlements that you have as a lifelong taxpayer. You know, that's, no other country in the world has a policy like that. Well, you know, the state of California will not recognize same-sex marriages for the purposes of spousal medical benefits. So what a lot of the gay community now are doing is moving down to Mexico, setting up citizenship there, coming back here as an illegal alien so they can get their health care paid for. We have uh, we've got a phone call for you. We've got uh, line seven. We've got Polly from Middletown, Ohio. Polly. Hello. Polly. Yes. Want a cracker? No. What's your uh, <laughs> What's your question, dear? Uh, yeah, my son uh, works with an illegal from Mexico, and they live out in my garage. And I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. This is, uh, this is like Sling Blade Two. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, my son um, has a works with an illegal from Mexico and they live in my garage. And I was wondering if I could go to jail for harboring him. Uh, are they paying you rent? No. Well, you're just a sucker, ma'am. But if they were paying me rent, could I go to jail? Uh, yeah, you could go to jail, but you'd have money to buy cigarettes then. Okay. Uh, no, you know, you know, but this, this brings up a point. I mean, to me, it's not a racial issue. I don't care whether you're from Honduras, Mexico, or Chechnya. You know, if, if you come here, it should be under the auspices of law. That's all. And then there's what they call chain Im immigration, where when, when a family comes here from a foreign country, then they start bringing in grandma and grandpa and brother and sister, and, and they all go I know how that works. Security. I had an immigrant <laughs> mailed to me the other day. I was supposed to mail him to 10 of my best friends. And, uh, <laughs> and the postage was a lot because the kid was heavy. All right. Um, but you, I, you know what it is, Dennis? It, the United States, as much as anything, the government of this country is a corporation that oversees a multiplicity of other corporations. And immigration, illegal and otherwise, is good for business. That's why it isn't stopped, in my opinion. It's, it's because every immigrant buys gasoline, food, clothing, watches HBO. They, they, uh, they are consumers. They pay sales tax 
even if they don't necessarily pay income tax. Right. And they feed the system. So it all becomes a bottom line thing. I, I think so. It all becomes part of the big... The big machine. The big machine. Which dictates right now that I have to do the news of the week. Can you stick around while I do it? Watch me. Felipe Hartman, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Phil.